Hi everybody. Today we are the 16th August 2020. So let's write it year August 16 and it is the poster 594 where I will use two brain different view of the brain for this tutorial so here they are of course you can take uh, every image you want naturally and I want to create a diotone poster with a gradient map <clears throat> for that I need to select two colors and uh, not so bad I like it Changed a bit the pink, maybe. No, it was fine. Yeah. So, at uh, this time it uh, happens uh, smoothly. Uh, usually it's uh, more difficult to select two colors who fit well together. But now, uh, just fine. Just fine. Uh, black is maybe not so good let's change it then to white color it looks much better already looking for something uh, that only you understand the shop no what are you doing I right, come on select white it's not big deal yeah okay third time I hit that button ah it's not possible it's unacceptable. No. Oof. Create a new layer over the vector smart object, who is, which is my logo. Hit Command B. Just a little click on to make it white. Command Z to come back to the previous state and I want a white ah the opacity wasn't set under 100% that's the reason why it looks dirty so one click <coughs> come on no photoshop please <laughs> oh god Whew. Um, let's select no 
not like that it won't be okay should not use transparency in the image i want to smaller but not that small here we are so everything you have uh, under this gradient map will look uh, will look like uh, yeah will be uh, set uh, with these two color the blue and the pink i selected the reason why the layer above are white it's because they are above this layer there if i place it uh, down it disappear because it is the exact same color of the background because the background is white and the type is white make it pink that's the beauty of the gradient map so let's place my two brain closer that looks fine that looks fine. And what if I put this layer into a folder? Ooh, too bright, too bright. Here. So let's write the title. Gold. <sighs> That's terrible. An effort, Photoshop. Please. Gold. Brain. Number. 15 here <coughs> command T to transform the text because I want it much larger Two hundred fifty. Okay. Let's wait. Huh? Better like that. Um, yeah, the leading uh, text is to to close. Ooh -hoo. I click on you, and you open this panel, or no? Let's go. What's wrong? Yeah, yeah, I want to set the leading. Hey, why do you disappear like that? Uh, 
1000 Ah, oh, come on. Set it then with uh, 1400. <clears throat> See what happens. Wow, wow. I Photoshop, come on, please. Please. Yeah, that's not the right phone to use for uh, maybe. Okay, let's see what happens with the regular, with the normal variation of this font. Um, eh. No. Yeah, here we are. Medium. No. Simple bold. It was the right font to use. Yeah, the extended version is pretty nice. Yeah, I already like that. Pretty simple, effective, a little bit weird. Oh, transform ah, fast, relatively. Little part of the brain there. No. Yes, no. Yes. Yeah, it looks fine, I guess, with the brain there. Maybe there are too much uh, leading between the, the lines. So I'll go down a little bit. Mm, yeah, well, come on, uh, please. Wow. So long just for that. One thousand three hundred. See what happens. <sighs> Do 
Too close. Too close. So I want to play a little bit uh, with the with the brand and the type. So I would cre create a layer mask over the the type. Select brand there. Come with the brush tool. I want it hard corner. No, 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 brush tool, there, and I paint over the L letter, maybe over the G too, like this. The B and the R together. Yeah, maybe. No. Just the R. It's more playful, playful later. Oh, what did I do to you? Yeah. Oh, Photoshop. Hurry up. Now, now I do the same with the bottom brain to see what is possible to do. Maybe uh, erase the end won't be okay. But that one is totally fine. We still can recognize his shape. The R2 maybe? No. Too much and the A. Mm, too much too. So I want to cheat a little bit with the Here is the number 15. I want it closer. To the to the end above. Ah, rendering types. Kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Why this tool is selected? I am going crazy right now. So come on. Help me Photoshop. Uh, you select the text tool, the horizontal text tool. Now I click between there, the one and the five. Here we are. So where did it apply the, the distance before? Bah. Now I have to come back over the 
layer mask there and do the reverse to let appear the number one there. Oof, rendering type, rendering type. Okay, X to change the colors. A white text tool now. A X here. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, 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 no. I want you there. I think it's doing. Oh, it's easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Here we are. So I go back to a previous state there. The band there. Just select that. Part. They will ask me to rasterize the layer. I think it's okay because I want this font like that and they didn't ask me to do that. Now it's done. I select the brain again. Select it. Uh, B. And no. <laughs> Miss the color there. If you paint with white, that will appear. If you paint with black, that will disappear. Done. <laughs> T. Okay, I got it. No, I didn't get it. I get rid of this layer mask. They will ask me if I want to apply, apply. I come there and select oh, my number 15. My number 15 there. Copy, remove, paste. And place it under the num the number, the letter N there. Save my poster. Uh, it's a bit minimalist. Maybe I will continue later. The baby is crying. And I want to check. See you later or maybe see you tomorrow. And thank you for watching this poster tutorial. See you soon.